Since you guys enjoyed the last live bait video so much, we're actually gonna film another one today. The first things first, if you guys haven't checked out that video, be sure to go check it out, but we're gonna be heading to a little family-owned gas station right now that actually sells live bait here in Savannah. We're actually gonna head there right now, see what live bait they have, and then kind of decide from there where we're gonna go fishing. Let's go ahead and go do that. So this is the little family bait and tackle gas station right here. Let's go ahead and go in and see what they got. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Okay. You, what kind of, doing great. What kind of live bait do you guys have? Okay, red wigglers, black tails, night crawlers, and green. I got you. Mealworms, maybe, just hard live bait. I got you. You said some regular night crawlers, didn't you? You mind if I get that? How many, how many is it? I think there might be 12 or 15 in a cup. I got you. Cups are 350. That's perfect. Let's do that. One, Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You have a good one. All right, there was a lot more people in there than I would have expected, but we do have the goods. We're ready to go fishing now. All right, let me show you guys kind of what I went with in there. I got some of these little mustad hooks right here. Size five and size six is both right there. And then I asked her what kind of live bait she had. They said they have crickets, a ton of shiners, and a bunch of different kinds of worms, but I just got the regular night crawlers. And she opened this up, let me show you. All right, get ready for this. This is this is crazy. Look at these things. Look at those things. Holy cow. That is awesome right there. Those are some huge night crawlers right there. It's got at the little old gas station. That's perfect. We're definitely going to be coming back here to get some crickets, some worms if we ever need them, and possibly some shiners. But let's go ahead and head out to the pond. That place was awesome right there. I wish I could have filmed a little bit more. There are just so many people. There's a lot going on when I went in there. Um, they had a ton of different Zebco rods and reels, like a ton. Um, I didn't even know they made that many. A bunch of little spinning combos. They had a bunch of bait, uh, like bass baits in there. They actually had bullets, said some little 22 rounds, and a bunch of hooks and weights and bobbers and stuff like that. So when I actually asked her, you know, what kind of live bait do you guys have? She had like a list of like 15 different things. So we're definitely gonna be coming back here. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment below if you guys wanna see me go back to this place and get something different rather than just night crawlers. But you guys understand why we have night crawlers here today for the place that we're gonna be going to. I'm super excited about it. Hopefully we're gonna catch something big and just have it all out a good time today. Wow, going a little off roading, eh? For everyone who says I don't go off roading every once in a while, eh? You know what I mean? Especially when we got to get to a little old fishing hole. This is a little hidden puddle back here, very far away. Like I said, we're having to hike a little bit to this thing. I'm hoping the fish are just gonna be biting. I came here once before, but I haven't really like fish fish. This is actually like a puddle, guys. Like this thing is tiny. You guys are gonna see when we get back here. All right, we are here. Before we rig anything up, I kinda wanna show you guys what we're working with and to show you really how small this little place is hidden back here, deep into the woods. Here we go. Okay, so here's a little tiny puddle. I'm not even gonna call this a pond. This is literally a puddle. I mean, this is as big as it is right here. Little tiny place. Hopefully gonna catch some fish on this live bait. We're gonna be trying to catch, you know, really anything that bites, you know, some big bluegill, um, some catfish, some bass, pretty much anything that bites. I don't know what all is actually in here, but something just hit the top of the water. That's a good little sign. Let's just go ahead and get the live bait and get to work. And this really wouldn't even be a live bait video today without the old Zebco, right? Got the Zebco with us today, got our pliers on deck, got the hooks we just bought, and also some more of the little 
live bait stuff that I have from last week's video. Now I got some of these eagle claw hooks that spilt out and hooked my receipt. Got some bobbers, which I'm actually going to be starting off with today. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it the whole time, but you know, I got that. And then I have some split shots and other little doohickeys in here. We have a little net rig on here from the last video. Matter of fact, let's just chuck this in here for a second to see if there's any bass. Let's see if we can get a bass on this. Heck, we already have it rigged up. We got a little lay down right here. And I'm hung already. All right, that's not even what this video is about. I just could not resist myself. All right, let's get this rig all rigged up. Get this an old night crawler on, see what we catch. Very small. We might end up changing these over. This is just a little start. Like I said, man, I, I really don't know what we're gonna end up catching. This is always a mystery when we do these little live bait videos. So yeah, we're gonna see. All right, guys, I think we got our little rig. We got about, I'd say a two foot leader from the hook to the bobber. Then we got a little split shot and there we go. Now it's time to get our little live bait on here. Let's see what we're working with here. They were, little, they were some big guys in here when I opened it up earlier. Yeah, baby, look at them. Oh, look at him slurping around there. Let's see what we're working with. These are some big, oh gosh, you a big boy. You a big slimy boy, aren't you? Oh yeah, look at that. Little slimy guy. Oh, baby. We definitely gonna be cutting those down, especially on these small hooks. That is not gonna work. So we'll probably just slice them up a little bit right there, and then we'll rig them up. Here we go. We got our first piece of the worm. It's still a freaking slauncher, but you know what? Whatever. Let's see what we're gonna work with in here. Make sure we put our lid back on our worms. Make sure they don't crawl out and keep them all fresh and juicy. All right, it is time, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for to catch a fish on this live bait. We're gonna set the bobber right there next to that small little lay down right there. As you guys can tell, let me get my GoPro. See, the bobber's right there next to the lay down. Now let's wait and see what we got. Two hours later. Hey Scott. What's going on, man? What you been up to, brother? Well, guys, I have not had a bite yet. Hmm. I'm starting to debate if there's even fish in here, but like I said, I saw one blow up. I saw another one blow up over there. They've all kind of been in this one corner. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, I don't even know how I didn't hook that tree. He's got it. Oh my gosh. No. He's right there in that. Yeah, he's got it. Look, look, look at him running with it. Okay. He's trying to get it. Might be a little tiny bluegill. Yeah, look at him go. I got him. Oh yeah. Look what we got here. Awesome, little sunfish right here. That is per, look at that, perfectly hooked. That is a good sign using these new hooks, but look how beautiful that fish is right there. Oh man, thank you for biting, buddy. You know, we had a little, it was taking us a second to get a bite. And then we finally caught this little beautiful sunfish. Oh, you'd be perfect bait, buddy. But guess what? That's for another video. If you guys want to see a live bait video with bluegill, totally let me know. And I'd love to do that because that is perfect size for a big bass. But let's get him back in the water. All right, pretty dude. See you, buddy. Thank you for biting. There we go. A sweet first fish today. That is good. I actually let my, my bait sink by this tree for a while. And Scott Martin called me. So I was talking to him. I was just kind of letting it sit never had a bite and then threw it right over there right away boom had one hit it what i am going to do is i'm actually going to lower this bobber just a tad this place is a lot shallower than i thought it's just about right there i think that's good let's go ahead and put us another worm on and get back over there let's see if shortening the bobber is actually going to increase our bites i think it is look at that he's toying with it now yeah look at him running there we go oh yeah another one you did not put up a fight buddy look at this these are perfect bait size i wish we were doing a live bait video, like a live brim video today like i said let me know in the comment section below and we'll definitely make it happen but these are like perfect bait for a big bass like exact like the i wouldn't want them any bigger nor any smaller like that is just perfect oh man look at that okay our second fish two casts in a row Let's get back in that corner, man. I feel, I feel like we just kind of, we found the trick, we shortened the bobber, and we're about to get a lot of bites. Oh my God. <gasps> I was rinsing off my hands and I just had one eat it right here. 
That was the craziest thing. Look, I got him. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Dude, this one is amazing bait size. I'm so mad right now. I feel like every time I try to catch like bluegill for a video, that they're all always either so big or I end up catching like a bunch of bass on the on the night crawlers. But look at that. Perfect bait size. That's insane. We're really getting a bite now. I'm gonna drop it again right here. I can't believe he bit it when I was washing my hands off. That was so stupid. Is there more? Oh my, what is this? Oh, look at that. Dude, they are chomping. We are, we are putting a hurting on them now. This guy is, this is total opposite of the other ones. This man is mad. Oh, he's pissing. He's pissing all over me, you little turd. Get off, man. What is up with you guys pissing? You little, you're a turd, man. You know that? Look at him pissing all over me. Guess it is kind of refreshing. It's only 100 degrees outside. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever said. Oh, gosh. You're a turd, man. I want to show your beautiful colors to the Kick in the Rats TV family. And then you're going to be a little turd to me? I don't think so, bro. You, you know what? You can get back in the water yourself since you're Mr. Macho, man. There he goes. Okay. Well, they stole our worm. Let's go ahead and get another one put on. Here, guys. Let's give them... Don't leave trash, guys. I'm, that pisses me off. Pick up after yourself. Look at all this trash. Don't do that. Look, I mean, it's everywhere. All right, we're going to do something. We're going to give him a little tasty snack. A big night crawler. A huge one. Just to, you know, I'm too nice of a guy, man. Even though I'd like to keep catching them, I'm just too nice of a guy. These are, these are, these are some big ones. Let's do this. I'm going to set this down. Pray that all the night crawlers don't crawl out. Okay? You see our worm? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. One just snabbed him up. Quick. Can we drop it right here again? Because they're biting good. Look at this. It's like so stupid now. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. This is so fun. Holy... Let me ask you guys this. Do you think he'll eat just a hook? Probably not. Are you kidding me? Okay, why even, why even get live bait? Is this a live bait fishing challenge or, or what is this? These are so perfect for bass, man. I'm so just mind blown right now. Well, everyone, a little update. We've caught a bunch of little, gosh, I got ants all over my camera. We've caught a bunch of little sunfish so far and my GoPro keeps overheating. So I think I'm gonna go set it in the car for a little bit and do a little whole deal. But we've caught a bunch so far and it's going good, man. There's a bunch and they're so perfect for like bass live bait, perfect bluegill size. We're gonna do a little feeding around the pond real quick. Since I got a good bit of these and I just do not see me using all of them. And they're already dying up a little bit. God, I mean, look at these things. Oh, I didn't want them to go right there. Slipped out of my hand. There's another one. Three, yeah, right there. Let's go over here. I kind of want to look. We'll bring the vlog camera. We'll bring some night crawlers to kind of throw in the water and see if we see any activity. And it'll let us know if we need to go over there and start fishing. So here's the one side of this pond I was just pointing over to. I really like the shade right here. You know, when I come out to a pond, I really look at the little shade lines. And that's where a lot of fish hang out. I don't know what just jumped right there. Oh, a frog. Get one of these bad boys out. Kind of want to get a lively one. That one's already done for. Let's just throw him in. Gosh, these things are so big. I didn't see nothing grab him. God, are we going, are we getting low already? I oh, know we're not getting low. Oh no, no, look at that. Yeah, we ain't getting low, but they're dying off. I can tell you it's so hot outside. See if anything grabs him. I didn't see anything grab him, but I, I'm almost positive that we can catch them over here, especially by where that grass is and all this little shade. Okay, night crawler in the water, catch a fish. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, another little guy on the old night crawler. Literally insane. Insane, man. God, they're all perfect. It's almost not even fun catching these anymore, there's so many. If I was gonna use them as bait, man. Oh, I got one. How am I gonna? Here we go. Another little guy, since my GoPro won't stop being a a booty hole to me. There's that beautiful, hey, turn to the side, you Twinkie. Okay, beautiful little guy right there. There we go. All right, we're gonna grab some of these. We got, we got a lot in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got double action going. Oh, that didn't work, okay. We're gonna feed them really good today because 
we're gonna come back holy cow these guys are gonna be big and stuff when we come back here to catch them for the giant bass look at these night crawlers oh yeah perfecto right there all gone I don't feel, yeah. now I'm done with all you said all you 